Fox tonight. Several Southeast Portland business owners are fed up after being targeted by taggers. The most recent vandalism involved a dozen people who showed up in the early morning hours and left behind a trail of graffiti. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom joins us now live in Southeast Portland with the details. Rio, we're here near Southeast Taylor and Second, where we spoke with someone who says their building here gets tagged all of the time. In fact, they just cleaned up some graffiti earlier on in the week, and less than 24 hours later, they say a group of people were at it once again, and this time it was caught on camera. It would be tough to miss all the graffiti in this area of Southeast Portland. Something Haley Wool with Urban Works Real Estate is awfully familiar with. She says she has to get it cleaned up at least once a month. And Wednesday morning, bright and early at 8 a.m. to start her shift, there it was again and all over the neighborhood. The whole side of this building was completely tagged. They hit this whole block pretty hard. Yeah, so this is basically all paint based until like you can reach. Um, you can see all this. However, she says something set this event apart from the times before. Watches what she calls a mob of maybe 10 people show up and spray the walls of buildings around the area left and right. Wool says it's a blatant disregard for what it costs for small businesses. And with many images being what appear to be random squiggles and symbols, she can't help but wonder, all for what? It just seemed like it was with the intention of destruction. Like they weren't even wearing face coverings and it just seemed so brazen that they knew that they'd be able to get away with it. Um, it's just kind of, at this point, it's, it's too regular for us. Take a look at your screen. Business owners are hoping someone may recognize any of these people, as some say they're aware police are busy with other matters. Either way, they just want those responsible to be caught. There's no point. It's not art. It wasn't. It was just disrespect. Just a few blocks down, she's especially disappointed that a mural of Darcel was vandalized. Portland icon who passed away just a short while ago. I watch how much effort goes into an art piece like this that's supposed to bring joy, and it's just blatantly tarnishing somebody's work. Can't imagine how disheartening that would be to come in and see your work defaced for no reason. Well, says a good Samaritan came by and helped paint their walls, and the city also came by, too, and gave them a hand as well. Meanwhile, across the street, those walls over there are brick and not so easily can be painted over. And all in all, those I spoke with say they like Portland, they promote it, but they just want things like this to stop. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12.